Now let's talk about the internal structure of your anal canal. While talking about the internal uh, uh, structure of your anal canal, I'll be using this diagram, which explains very, very easily. We'll start from above. You know that the superior aspect of your anal canal has the same epithelium, has the same epithelium, let me change the color, has the same epithelium as the rectum, which is your columnar epithelium. However, in the anal canal, as you go down there, in the anal canal, the mucosa is organized into longitudinal folds. As you go into the, the uh, into folds, and which folds are called as anal columns? So these are the anal columns, are your uh, from the uh, the uh, the what we call the mucosa is organized into longitudinal folds, which are called as organ, uh, which are called as your anal folds. You can see in this diagram, these are your anal columns. So uh, these are joined together at their inferior ends. Down there, you can't see, you may not see them, but I, if I use the color black, if I show you right down there, we have got veils down there. So they are joined together inferiorly at their, uh, at their inferior ends by anal valves. So down there, you have got the anal valves. Down there, you have got the anal valves. And above those anal valves are small pouches. So these spaces are called pouches, which are referred as the anal sinuses, which are we call these pouches as anal sinuses. So these contain glands. You can see in the blue color, which I have already write down there, is called the anal glands, which secrete the mucus or mucosa. I'm sorry, it's mucus, not mucosa, because there's something else. So uh, the anal valves collectively for like down there there are different anal valves right down there we have got anal valve here right down there so these all anal valves form an irregular circle so this is kind of forming an irregular circle in black you can see down there uh, this is highlighted in black uh, which is known as pectinate line so this black is known as pectinate line right this Pectin line, this line divides the anal canal into upper and lower parts, which differ in both structure and neurovascular supply. So this is a, a result of their different embryological origins. Like the above, the pectinate line is actually derived from your embryonic hindgut, and below the pectinate line down there, um, this is pectinate line down there, it is a, a derived from the ectoderm of your proctodium. And in view to the um, pectinate line, the anal canal is lined by uh, these non-keratinized squamous epithelium, which is also stratified, which are also known as the anal pectin. So it is a pale and smooth surface, which is transition at the level of inter-sphincter groove. This is inter-sphincter groove uh, which uh, uh, to the true skin which is the true skin is your uh, keratinized stratified squamous muscle so we are done with the internal structure of your anal canal 